We're here at the Crenshaw High School, the infamous Crenshaw Rail. It's another Saturday, we're in the streets, gotta stretch and warm up. You know, I'm filming a video part and I got a trick on this last time, which to answer your question for one of the first videos I did, I did get the trick, but you know, I gotta back it up with a line. So we're gonna try to film a line from all the way on the top rail, which you can't see, all the way to this one. Right now, Sean Butler's trying to trick, I can't tell you guys, cause he's filming a part as well. So stay tuned to all the warm up tricks and we'll see what happens. Dirty. All right, so today, because I'm sick of filming myself all the time doing these videos, we got Richard. We got him filming. I'm gonna test him out and see. Pause. Pause and see. <laughs> and see if he can film me go from that rail to the bottom rail. And I think he has zero experience with the filming. So don't blow it, Richard. I guess he's mute now, it must be a, a mime. So whatever Manny just said, I'm about to just film this line. It's about to be clean. He don't think I know what I'm doing. But watch, it's about to be on point. You ready? Cause I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna handle it. You ready to handle it? Are you ready? I'm ready. Watch, I got the angles. Now. I'm gonna play that back and see what it oh, looked like. Trash, what are you bro. talking about? <laughs> you feel like, you feel that like trash. That was on point. That was so good. They're gonna call me Young Rich V Evans. Rich Evans. Spanish Rich. Spanish Rich. All right. Didn't mean to interrupt the video, but I just want to let you guys know that Richard films like complete shit. So if, he, if you ever need anything filmed, do not ask that man to film anything fisheye because it was terrible, like beyond terrible. Like so bad that I didn't even want to use the footage for the edit, but I had no choice because that's all I had. Um, I got something special in the mail. I wanted to show you guys a little sneak peek of these shoes that I got in the mail. Uh, my homie Carlos Adams started a boxing shoe company a while ago and it was based off a simple idea because he loved boxing that he wanted to create the best boxing shoes in the world. And to be honest, so far from a lot of pro boxers who have boxed in them, they all say they're the best shoes they've ever worn. So that's to let you know that if you have an idea, just because there's big companies out there or there's naysayers or there's non-believers doesn't mean you can't accomplish your goal. So congratulations to Carlos for making the dopest boxing shoes. I actually have a couple pairs. But in this box, I've been waiting for these shoes for three months. So he branched out and he started Adam's Footwear, which will include uh, running shoes, lifestyle shoes, boxing shoes, um, maybe one day a skate shoe, but you never know. But I want to show you guys the first look into these shoes. I can't wait. 
because I've been a part of this for a while now. And finally, I get my own pair. With this first model, it's called the, the AR1, which is Adam's running one, and you get a certificate that lets you know, you know, like authenticity. Thank you for supporting the release of Adam's footwear. Has a date. And here they are. These things are, they actually weigh absolutely nothing. Literally, they weigh nothing. I don't even know what they're made of, but they're pretty sick. They're actually similar to uh, Action. <laughs> actually, <laughs> the, they're actually similar to an Action show you just get called the Heritage, um, which makes me super hyped to even own another pair of shoes that look like that. But check these out. If you guys want to support, it's adamsfootwear.com. The link will be in the bio. Not by the link will be in the description. I'm so used to Instagram. Um, so if you want to cop a pair, you know, support is just an idea he had. And he went to Mexico and spent four months designing this shoe and a bunch of other boxing shoes. So, yeah, this is sick. I think we could actually turn this into a skate shoe, to be honest. So things don't always work this way. We got to this spot and my foot hurt, the vibes were wrong, so we decided to keep moving. Now we're at USC at this famous spot and Sean, that's how he warms up. Sean. What are you doing, Lewis? It's fucking nasty cleaning up the spot. So you're being a good Samaritan? Wait, question. Are you cleaning it so it looks good in the photo? Or are you cleaning it so because you're a good human being? For the photo. 